Carlos Nelson with the Kansas City Business Association and this is another part of our political series. Uh, we have a special guest in tonight who is running for the 5th District uh, City Council seat. Who do we have here? I'm Raina Park Shaw, candidate for City Council 5th and District. Uh, all right, tell our audience a little bit about who Raina Shaw is. So I'm born and raised here in Kansas City. Uh, you know, proud to have been uh, started out early in the vineyard area. My husband Michael and I have actually made the fifth district our home for the last 18 years when we've raised our three kids. How old are they? Uh, so our oldest is 32. Mm -hmm. We've got a 22 year old son and a 17 year old son. What, what schools did they attend? Mm -hmm. uh, so they've been in um, the Lee Summit School District, mm -hmm. uh, but also our daughter was in the Hickman Mill School District. Hickman Mill, well. all right. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what made you want to run for uh, the Kansas City School? I meant to say the City Council race, uh, the Fifth District. How do you think you can make a change on on that? Mm -hmm. What inspired me to run is when, when I found out that uh, people who live in certain zip codes in the city mm -hmm. have a life expectancy of up to 14 years less than if they live in other zip codes, uh, I was appalled. And what's that about? Why, mm -hmm. why, why is that? Well, there are multiple issues as to to why people in the 5th district and the 3rd district... Run them down. One, 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 one so, or two, three. Give, give our mm -hmm. audience some examples. Sure. So a couple of examples are, first of all, obviously the crime. You know, the crime has something to do with, the, with our uh, homicide rates. Mm -hmm. But then in addition to that, you know, the fact that we don't have access to a healthy lifestyle. So meaning, you know, we don't have sidewalks uh, to get out and exercise or we don't feel safe in our neighborhoods. We have, there's areas of the 5th District where there's food deserts, you don't have access to healthy foods. Those uh, are a few Those are some issues. things you want to uh, work on. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, tell our audience specifically how you plan to make some changes in the current government if you are elected. Mm -hmm. So I have a five point strategy that really wraps around um, the issue with the life expectancy. My five point plan is Five Alive, affordable housing, livability, infrastructure, crime, and economic development. Right. Um, quality affordable housing, oh. you know, is, is a priority. Not just affordable housing, but quality housing, because that also lends itself into the issues with uh, the life expectancy issue. Because, you know, we need homes that are, that are free of mold, free of water leakage that, you know, are all, All right, right, let's switch gears. Sure. What, what do you what do you say about the economic situation mm -hmm. uh, in our community? Economic development is huge. We have a lot of opportunity in the fifth district that ultimately we need to focus on. Um, in my experience, uh, being a vice president with Truman Medical Centers, I had an opportunity to work on the thirty two plus million dollar expansion in the fifth district. Um, you know, there's everybody talks about Cerner mm -hmm. and the new. Peace with Cerner, there's opportunity for small businesses as well as uh, creation of new jobs within the 50s. Well, tell, tell me this. Uh, do you think that uh, we have been served, uh, you say you've been 18 years, do you think we have been served by our elected officials in the most efficient way uh, that will give the African American community, which the 5th District is largely made up of, uh, the opportunities that have been afforded to the overall community? You know, I think um, we definitely have an opportunity to do better. I think that uh, for far too long, the 5th District has gone overlooked and that, um, you know, there are monies that are being um, generated and put in other districts in the city. I would like to see that money come, you know, here east of Troost. Uh, what do you think about East of Troost? Uh, I think it's been overlooked. I think that we ha we do have opportunity to see economic development, to create jobs. We need training programs. Can you can you tell uh, our audience some significant accomplishments that you've made uh, in your career? Yes. Uh, so I was fortunate to be on the planning committee for the crisis intervention teams, which were the first in the country. Uh, out in, in my, my role at 
Truman explain to our all right. Explain mm -hmm. to our audience what that is about. So crisis intervention teams are were specific trainings for police officers to educate them on identifying when a person has mental illness and then establishing resources so that people don't just end up in jail. Switch gears again. You mentioned sure. the police. Uh, how do you feel as it relates to the city's paying the uh, the salaries and uh, the state controls uh, the police. Mm -hmm. Give all uh, I would. I I support local control of the police department. I think that you know the city pays an exorbitant amount of money to uh, and, and doesn't control what what happens with the police. I think that also is a part of our issue with crime in this area. All right. Uh, switch gears again. Uh, do you think that? Uh, the city has provided the same type of services in the 5th district as they have in uh, the other districts, bar the 3rd district. <laughs> well, I think that uh, definitely one of the things I would like to see the city get back to do is get, is get back to the basics. Um, you know, as I've talked to thousands of neighbors and the neighborhood leaders, they're frustrated about illegal dumping. They're frustrated, frustrated about, you know, the lack of sidewalks, streets, roads. And so this, I would like to see the city get back to the basics, especially in the 5th District. All right. Tell me this. What is your ability to build coalitions? Mm -hmm. I am in my role as a small business owner. I served on the Eastern Jackson County Workforce Development Board. I worked uh, to bring together coalitions, uh, to bring different organizations together. And I think that's an opportunity we Tell have. Tell me, in the, in the city. Uh, what did that board accomplish mm -hmm. while you were on it? Mm -hmm. So we, we educate, we worked with the Full Employment Council. We educated uh, many of our youth, provided them with uh, 21st century skills so that they can earn a living wage and you know, ultimately be able to support themselves and their families. Do you have any uh, opinion on uh, Voltec? On Voltec? Well, you know, I think everybody knows that you know, college may not be for everyone. I would like to see um, expansion of uh, services and resources in Voltec to be able to, to provide additional training uh, for, those, for everybody in our community. How do you see this airport? How do I see the airport? I think that the airport will provide economic opportunity for our community, but I think it, we have to be intentional in what we do to make sure that, that uh, we can see that in, our, in the 5th District. Do you think that there's been a level playing field as it relates to economics uh, coming to our overall community 5th District? No. All no. right. And how do you plan to change that? So what my plan um, includes bringing together diff the key professional organizations, uh, the key, key experts within the community to be able to work on the issues that matter most to our community. Uh, uh, I would say this, do you think that the downtown council has provided the leadership that uh, uh, we need to take this to a, another level? I think that as we stand today, no, we have opportunity um, to make improvement and expand on what has been started, especially in the 5th District. Mm -hmm. I think, as I said earlier, I think that we have been overlooked. All right. Is there anything specifically that you would like our audience to know about you? Well, I am a former union member. I uh, worked for the post office and have been a member there as well as SEIU Local 1. So I strongly believe in creating jobs that allow people to earn a living wage. I'm a small business owner as well, uh, owning, um, starting as an Avon lady, knocking on doors, but I was able to establish two retail stores and economic development is huge for me. I'm a healthcare executive. I've been a vice president at Truman Medical Centers, where I've been able to work on programs with the CDC to it, decrease health disparities in chronic diseases like diabetes and uh, heart disease in our community. And so I would love to ask for your vote and ask for your support on April 2nd. And so how do they get in contact with you or your campaign? 
Uh, you can reach my campaign at RainaParkshaw.com. It's R-Y-A-N-A-P-A-R-K-S-S-H-A-W.com. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter at uh, Raina for KC. All right, Raina. It was a pleasure having you on the show, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. This program is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association.